Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. Yes, I did that in English. Um, but we are playing uh, Hearts of Iron 4 with Black Ice and, of course, playing as Japan. We've just taken um, Nanjing, the capital of Nationalist China. So that has fallen. There, um, um, I know it is Chongqing, but however you want to change that capital in the west has shifted but we already have considerable forces pushing here So we need to support the attack. That will seal this pocket here. To get that closed. Good, and the pocket is sealed. able to be launched. Yeah, let's...
Okay, well we can build more things. Yes, we have these. Type 98, Kini like tanks. Let's put those into production. That'll be nice. This. And we have these equipment. What do they look like? Okay. Uh, we don't even have mechanized infantry. Mm. There are reasons just to add a to to a few divisions. Add you know tanks or maybe the this motorized type division here add a tank unit, but I don't know that we can. It's all filled up. Is there a support armor tank at? Uh, yeah, but... I don't know, well, we're producing some. We could always remove the one. Mechanized division. Or brigade. No. Tell you what I'm gonna say. Man, I'm using the wrong terms there. But remove the mechanized unit you know, just motorized forces. And we need more oil. All their battle plans because I don't want them. 
Fliegender! Fliegender! Ah, wow, okay, so we've gotten victory in China. We want to take all states. In turn. Done. Okay, and we have a new DD. Hyper researched. Wow, my, well. A little bit surprised that it happened as quick as it did. Now. Uh, oh, well, we did barely start it, so let's kill that portion of that DD. This is part way finished, so let's finish this. Let me do one. Let's go with a Yamato. So I'm research there, but it'll take a while. Oh yeah, let's do another DD. We have 100% world tension. We need the political power to change it now. Well, let's let all these combats end. Very fast, please. Just move. Just build more basic rifles. In my opinion, we don't have nearly enough. Okay. We're going to grow to a lot of descent levels. And I knew that was coming. And I started to deal with it, but. Only dealt with it yet. Jimbius. Take down some of these other. Warlords, and I don't know if we take down one, it's going to trigger them all, so let's. Sort of be somewhat prepared. Okay. Cavalry divisions. Maybe a little better than. A little better than regular division. No, no, no. There. Oh, 
anti-partisan activities. Well, let's see if that helps a bit. Get them spread out. Oil. We need a lot more oil now. Uh, the, because we took so much of China, that may have been a mistake, but um, they basically embargoed us, so let's... Still taking our civilian factories, and we need to end that. How do we end that? Um, Like that I can't end this. Okay, cancel all. Okay, there we go. We cancel them all. That yeah, did it. So, that's an interesting lesson. They declared war on us, we took them all, and now we have massive um, jump in world tension, which... Hmm, not good, but not bad, I don't know. Definitely allows the US to move a little quicker into the war, which isn't good. Munich agreement, nice. We did lose a couple of two or three destroyers to some of the Chinese air up there. Well, maybe that's make four destroyers. But we also took out theirs and they sallied forth looks like. Not port there.
Bearing Army Command. Well, that's good after all of that fighting. And computing machines, good. So I thought about getting this first, but this always helps all of the research. Yeah, let's do some decryption. Well, mostly we're back to producing more than we need, which is good. Let's expand the time frame a little bit. My sort of plan is to take them down one at a time, but I'm, like I said, going to be prepared, as I don't know if they're going to. They might try to unify against me, and I don't need to have um, fronts unwatched. Okay, we've got heavy machine guns. We're improving our troop improve our submachine guns, which would be nice. To only improve more this would be better, I think. Production somewhere here. Let's go to these. Fighters and bombers, and we just got those. Well, you know, one of my favorites, naval air. I don't want to go up to these, I want to just do complete. We're going over to Occupy Divisions.
What else in the Soviet Union? I have no plans currently to go to war with the Soviet Union. Though that, of course, could change with situations of what Germany is doing and what our other fronts look like they're doing. Okay, Matsui Artillery. Okay, we're supposedly receiving some armored cars. Which is actually something we should be producing a bit more of. Expand the army arsenal. Um, the research bonus for armor technology is nice. Um, we very well may use it. And as well as the research time. Senates! Skida! Shit! Well, let's grab all of these slots. Oh, the HG Wells thing, yeah. Radio broadcast, I'm sure you're all familiar with by now. Okay, subject may change autonomy status there. Yeah. Environment may, may be may not. So what we want to do here is okay. We can improve, um, create, start land lease. Stage of now. That's not what we want to do. don't want them becoming puppets. I really haven't managed puppets before much. Okay. So one of the things we can do is some factories. Let's bump those to the top. I think there's also a way to can't do this yet, but I think those factories will help us. Indian National Congress triumphs in provincial elections. Is in India, of course. There's three elections. <coughs> okay. 
So the Indians are wanting independence. Maybe we could tell them lies and let them think that we want to help them with independence. down now that we're building factories there. That is one way to deal with the puppets is help them. Yamato, so let's build some more of the little destroyers. And here are these guys. That's what we're going to change to. Tension is super high. We can go to a war economy, which will help us. So we have 20% go down to 15% for consumer good factories. And military factory speed production and everything else increases. We really wanted to get to 50%. We didn't want to get to 100%. And could have been a little more strategic on provinces to um, to try to do. And I don't know how much... I know in multiplayer games, they often look at that heavily. See, like here, I guess we would really want this province because there's a lot of resources, steel and such there. Um, you you, you want to have some sort of defensible situation. You know, we want to come down here and get some of these um, rare material types. Tungsten and um, chromium as well. Eventually, we get a little bit of oil here. So, now also, we don't substan- oh, I mean, we're down to, to aluminum, big deal. Overall, so we're doing well for resources right now. Okay, 75 steel. So let's see. Who are we still importing steel from? Yeah, well. Let's remove that for a moment. Oh, it's on steel. Rubber. We're getting 17 from them. And they're trying to get 9. So, yeah. We need at least that. And some of that. Okay, 
main attack will obviously come up and through here, so... We won't have to cross everything across that river, so you guys will head over there. Yeah, I'll see you. You guys will head over there. Yeah. We're gonna leave the communists to last unless they decide to... Join in the, in the fun. Nice. At least I'm mostly hoping they'll stay out of it, but we don't know that. Any surety. Well, let's. Yeah, we got unassigned. Unassigned. Go to be Kanyo! Stick up! We're gonna set up a naval invasion down into. Somewhere. Down here probably. Now we want to go to the port that way, so we'll be down to here. Just to sort of mess with these guys. Okay. We're no longer accelerated growth. Okay. Well I want to thank you for watching, I want to thank you for liking the videos, and of course I want to hear from you, so please post questions, comments, suggestions, ideas. Thanks so much, see you next time for more Hearts of Iron.